y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brittany and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos I usually focus on fashion beauty luxury lifestyle fragrances and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about so if that seems like something that you may be interested in please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content of course also if you're already a subscriber go ahead and click on that notification bell I tend to upload once or twice a week which is on Sundays and Thursdays so I don't want you to miss a thing y'all today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial tutorial I have been asked probably for the last six months to do a makeup tutorial okay and honestly I don't feel like I do a lot of different things I tend to stick to my same routine and yeah but you guys have been asking so I decided to try to do a makeup tutorial for you guys tonight I'm actually on my way out and I was rushing so I hope I did okay this is the look that we created today and I will go through all the products and everything so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look or my everyday face then stick around makeup. okay y'all so y'all have been asking for a makeup tutorial for probably six months now okay um but I don't do a lot of different things I'm just kind of like what's in front of me I'll use and I also downsized a lot so I'm more of a re-up on the product instead of trying a lot of new products um and and also I have sensitive skin so I have to be careful but since you guys have been asking like you know comment after comment I am going to attempt to do this now I am getting ready to go out and hang out with my girlfriends tonight we're going to an art show and you know we're just gonna hang out listen to some good music um so yeah we're gonna see how this goes it usually takes me no more than like 20 minutes to do my makeup but let's see how long it takes while I'm trying to film I don't think I've done a makeup tutorial since the beginning of the pandemic so like three years ago um and already I have anxiety about it because I'm like is the lighting okay is the camera angle okay like it's just so many things when you're trying to just natural I want to be you know as natural as possible with getting ready but when you do a YouTube video, it has to be like this whole production. So I got my light on and all that, but I'm only using one light today because I want you to see my real skin. Sometimes light can blow the skin out so you don't see all of the imperfections, but I have my light really low and just one light today. So you can kind of see what the skin looks like. So we're just gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna throw my hair in a clip to get this out of the way. like that. So my skin is already prepped. I washed my face with my La Roche-Posay um, gel cleanser, moisturized, and also um, I just have on a little bit of Laneige just to moisturize my lips during the process. I always tell you guys I don't use primers and I really don't set my makeup like that. So you're going to see how I go through the process. Now, I always start off with um, just brushing my brows up and I just got my brows threaded so they don't need any work but if they have grown out I will fill them in a little bit just to give them more shape but this is like a fresh thread and they look pretty good to me so we're gonna move on I'll put some gel on them towards the middle of the um, makeup application I'm gonna mix two foundations um, I always use my Estee Lauder double wear and I am in the shade amber honey and I like to put the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade 13 Neutral in the center of my face, um, specifically during the winter time. All year round, I use Estee Lauder, but in the winter, I like that this, it's still like a semi-matte, but it's not as matte as this, okay? And I just apply this directly to the skin. So I do this around like the outer and the chin. See, I don't even use a whole lot, like, that's enough. Then I add the Charlotte Tilbury on the inner. Like so. So today I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush. I use different brushes all the time. So it really just depends on what my hand grabs first, okay? And you can see how amazing the Estee Lauder matches me. Like, it's amazing, I love it. So I like to focus on the outer. And then I'll bring that to the forehead. And again, my mirror is over here, so forgive me, you know, for looking over here, but. So who all is going to the Beyonce concert? I know I am, I got my tickets. I actually got the codes for Miami and Atlanta. I decided to buy tickets in um, Atlanta, but I'm still waiting on the Nashville ones. I might buy some more. They weren't that expensive, like I thought. I had a little budget, you know, as to what I was willing to spend. 
but it wasn't bad. And it wasn't difficult to get them once you were in there. I was like 200 in line and I may, I may have waited maybe two and a half minutes. It's crazy. So um, yeah, so far I'm going to the Atlanta concert and I'm excited. So I kind of like to go over the eye a little bit and under the eye. After I like smooth it in, I like to just pat because I feel like it takes away any streakiness, which this brush doesn't give you streakiness, but it's just to ensure that extra flawless, you know, look. So any imperfections that I had, you can see they have now been covered easily. This one piece of hair though, <laughs> I hate it. Thank you, you will be pulled out, thank you. Anyway, so now that we have the foundation on, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm using maple. This is not the best color for me, but I like the consistency. Um, this is one that I bought online and I just never took it back. I mean, it's okay, it's just not my favorite. It's a little on the olive side. I like more of a yellow orangey. And I put this down the bridge of my nose as well. And then I like to mix it. So my tried and true right now, or for the past couple years has been the Morphe in the shade uh, Rich 28, which is very warm and yellow. I have a backup that I have no clue of where it is. So I just like to put this in the inner. So that helps to camouflage my dark circles because you know, yellow i mean well orange reds you know they cancel out dark and i let it sit for probably 30 seconds to a minute and usually i like just listen to some music or something so Okay, y'all, so I've let that sit for a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender. Now, this is dirty, I used this yesterday. I tend to only clean my makeup brushes once a week. So listen, do your thing, that's your business, but this mine too. So I'm going to blend it out. So once you let it sit, it gives you more coverage and you don't have to use as much product. Even though it looked like a lot, it was just covering a lot of area. It wasn't like a heavy amount of product, if that makes sense. So yeah. And the blend on this is amazing, okay? Take the butt of the beauty blender and just blend up in here. And then go to the other side. You can kind of bring it down on the side of the nose. I'm not like an expert in contouring noses and creating shapes. I just enhance what I already have because that's just my level of talent. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a makeup artist or anything, so yeah. And the butt blender out and then lastly I'm gonna go down the bridge and blend that I do like to be careful with that because I don't want that light line to get too wide y'all why did I get a bump on my nose like what? <laughs> I don't get it. now I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury in translucent honey I am running out of this I really tried to get into the Fenty but it makes my eyes water so I can't use that I may give it to my mom or somebody I go in with my Laura Mercier um, little puff, put it under there, and kind of press, okay? And if you want a highlight or whatever, you can put it here. I usually don't, but I mean, see, this is why I don't do videos. You start doing extra stuff for the sake of the video, <laughs> but usually I don't. And then I immediately wipe this away, okay? So I don't bake with that one. So I guess you can consider this setting. Like I do set my concealer and stuff. I just don't set my foundation. And I don't usually do this, but we're doing it today. I want my chin to look a little. Okay, so now for a little bit of baking while I go into the um, eyes, I use the Laura Mercier just regular translucent powder and I do bake with this. So this gives me that brightened highlight look without having to go extremely light on concealer. It's amazing how bright it shows up on camera because in person it's not that serious. I need to hurry up y'all. Mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Neutral Territory palette. It's broken, listen, I use my things. And I'm gonna go in with a 
blending brush, if I can find it. I'm just gonna go in with this soft brown color, just in the crease. And I guess I'll just do the last makeup look that I did. Um, that's like a pinkish tone. Still neutral enough to go with things, but I feel like I really like that. I'm gonna go in with a lighter color too to kind of take a little bit of that out. All right, so we have that. I had randomly used this the other day and y'all were loving the makeup. So let me see if we can do that again. I'm gonna use the Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia and I'm gonna go in with Pinker, which is like a dark pink color right there. I'm gonna go in on the lid very softly. I don't want too much color, just a hint. Okay, so that's that. Then I'm gonna go in with this pop beauty palette i got this in pr i always get stuff from them and i don't use it that often but i pulled this out because they had this pink in here and i was like yes so i don't know oh here are the names iridescent no it's called sugar cookie i think or maybe suave mauve oh yeah it's called suave mauve <laughs> this one right here so i'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna add a pink shimmer. Can you see that? Real cute. These are really good. Like the formulation of these are really nice. And you can see I don't use like a um, primer or anything. So, uh oh, yay. Got it. I will typically go in with a lighter gold. Let's see, what can we do? Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my neutral palette from Morphe and I'm gonna use this gold just in the inner corner. So it's gonna neutralize it. And not, you know, I don't want it so pink. It may be too gold actually. Did I use this? I feel like I didn't. I'm gonna go in with even lighter, with an even lighter color. Cause I don't think I used that. I don't remember. See, I just be doing stuff. I'm gonna go in with Soleil from Jackie Ina. Yeah, oh, it's really gold too, but whatever. I really want like just a neutral shimmer, but it's giving gold. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the eyes, um, I'm actually gonna go in on the sides and just darken it up a bit. It's nighttime, so it's fine. Um, usually I wouldn't, where is the British? See, that's what I be talking about. I can't never find nothing. And that's irritating to me. I don't like that. Honey, may I ask why? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with like a slanted blending brush and I'm gonna go back to my Morphe and get that dark brown dead in the center, okay? So I take this and I hold the eye a little and I just kind of do old school V, but very blown out. So, you know, everything is super blended. I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and just kind of blend everything. I don't like, you know, too much of a defined line when it comes to the eye makeup. So these are the eyes. And it all comes together in the end, okay? So now I'm just gonna go in with um, my eyeliner. And y'all, the eyeliner situation is just, so I used to have the perfect dark, I used to be known, I feel like, for my dark waterline. And that used to be the Milani Liquify. They discontinued that. Why? I don't understand. It was the best on the market. So I just been using whatever. Right now I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. It's not the best. It's just not as dark. I mean, it's dark maybe to some, but not to me. Like with the Milani, I could do one swipe and I was good. I'm on my fifth swipe. Okay, like, come on. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner um, for a little bit of a winged look very subtle only because I'm doing lashes so I like to look straight I can't do this in the thing but I like to look straight ahead and create a little 
faux wing and then I'll come in and like perfect it. Now that it's like on but not really good, I can stretch my eye and fix it. And quite frankly, I don't recommend you drinking coffee when you're doing this. You get the shape. Okay, so these are the wings. Let's go ahead and remove the bait. So I'm just gonna remove the bait. And prepping with the darker powder first helps you not to get that flash. Now I'm gonna go in with my contour. I use the Black Radiance Contour um, palette in medium to dark. Other side looks. We'll come right here, kind of high up to get that contour and then blend it out. And I blend more up than I do down, you know, so I don't drag my face down. Then I smile and I lift my cheek. So I just take whatever's left and I come right here. So it lifts the cheek up a little bit, in my opinion, okay? That's just what I like. And then I come underneath the nose, a little here, just with whatever's left, okay? Now I go in for the nose contour and I use an angled eyeshadow brush and I go in with the light powder all the way down, but I try to come inward, okay? Same thing on this side. Come inward. See, it just kind of snatches it just a bit. Now we're gonna go in with the blush. I will use the same one that I used the last time, which is Whistle While You Work. And this is from the Shayla and ColourPop collection. And as you can see, it's just a bright pink blush. Um, and I love how this looks on. I get so many compliments on this blush, but it's no longer available. So you can get the Dior blush. It's pretty much the same thing, but yeah, this is really pretty. Just kind of smile a little bit. I just pursed my lip. <laughs> Look at the blush. Get it do. <laughs> I love it. And this is a matte blush. How good does that look? So pretty, right? Okay. So yeah, this is what the face is looking like. Let's go ahead and go in with the mascara. I think I'm gonna use, usually I use my um, Charlotte Tilbury, but I wanna try out this uh, L'Oreal Telescopic. They sent this to me, the Telescopic Lift. So let's see how this works. Oh. Oh, she a little. Okay, that's the bottom lash. Can you see? You get a lot on here, so be careful. Very wet. <laughs> bottom lash is done. I like it. It's a similar brush to my um, Charlotte Tilbury, but this one has a lot more bristles on it. I'm scared it's gonna irritate my eye because it's so wet. Y'all, I can't find my um, Anastasia brow gel, so I'll just use the L. This is, that Anastasia one just hits different. It really does. This brush is just so wide. <laughs> but anyway, that's what the brows look like now. So they look way more uniform to me. I love them, you know? So now, um, my lashes. I'm gonna use lashes that I always use. This is what they look like. Not a fresh pair. I don't feel like cutting and doing all the things. These are the Valicia lashes. And these are the cat eye ones. They're in my Amazon storefront. So check it out if you like these. They're so fluffy and wispy, I love them. I'm using the Kiss Glue. I let this get extremely tacky before I apply. It just makes it so much easier. So we're just gonna let that dry a little bit. fresh beauty blender way to be used, but I just like to, you know, use mine for the week and then wash. I know some people are probably like gag. Listen, it's fine. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> okay, y'all. So it's time to put the lash on and 
the easiest way for me to do a lash, why did I take my clip out? Cause I was playing with my hair um, and I left it in the bathroom. But okay, anyway, so just get you a compact mirror and look down in it and place the lash. It's so much easier cause you can literally see the rim and just that quick it's on like so like that okay now we're gonna move on to the next one and i like to kind of bend them okay so the lash is on i'm just gonna let it dry i decided to bring my curling iron in here so we can just do it together. This is the curling iron. I use the T3 and it has different attachments. So yeah, brush out my hair. I really wanted to just wear it straight, but I feel like a few loose curls won't hurt. So I'm gonna take it here. And I tend to just curl in the middle of the hair. <laughs> I don't want nothing too serious. I kind of want it like a straight look. So that's what that looks like. I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear. I think I want to wear some um, leather cargos. Or I may wear my black cargos again, girl. I feel like I just been wearing those out, but it's just so easy. And when it's cold, all black is always a good idea for me. But also I was thinking about wearing my Waco um, bodysuit again. But it has gotten so cold outside. I even got a chest coat trying to give a little Cleveland moment, you know, a little cleavage. So we'll see. So that's what that looks like. You can see that took every bit of what, two minutes? So I'm gonna do the other side. I really need to be leaving the house now. <laughs> What's new? I'm not even letting the uh, iron stay on long because I really want just super soft curls. So this is pretty much the hair. Let's see if we're dry. I think we are. So then I take my finger and I just press the lashes in so that they are seamless. And really on the inner corner, because you don't want them to lift. And then let me look at them close. Okay. Yep, so the makeup is done. Let me know what you think. We're gonna go in with the lip. Um, lately I've been using the Kat Von D Crucifix. I don't recommend this. It's too, it's too tiny for the price and the amount of product. Like I like it, but mm, you know, I do like the fact that it's soft and it's one of the twist type kinds. So you don't have to um, sharpen it. And I like to overline them. This makes them look nice and juicy. Don't you agree? Okay, so we're gonna do a nudish pink lip. We're gonna go in with Power Play from Artist Couture. This is a nude. Like so, pretty. Then I'm gonna go in with Faux by MAC, which is a pinky nude. Like that. And then to blend everything together, I'm gonna go in with, what is this even called? Bombshell from Believe Beauty. You can get this at the dollar store. They still sell them. I used to work with them all the time. So I have a lot, but I love this cloth. Ugh, it's so nice. What's that? Mm! Okay y'all, so this is the makeup. What do you guys think? Cute, right? I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Y'all had so much anxiety about this. I usually like to do my um, lip in the car, but I love y'all, so I gave you the lip, okay? But it's something about doing the lip like right before you go in, ah, the feeling. So now I'm gonna have to touch it up, you know, later, but it's fine, so. 
yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. Let me go get dressed. I'm gonna try to show y'all my look, okay? I don't know. Okay, y'all, so per usual, I'm running late, but I wanted to show y'all the scent of the night. I'm gonna be wearing the Whore Day Absence from Louis Vuitton. It's a very fresh scent, but to me it's kind of sexy. I may mix it. I don't know. And I threw my necklaces on. I may take one of these off, but I have on my Chanel choker, and I also have on just a um, tennis necklace. So I need to put my watch on, my rings, and then I'll try to show y'all the full outfit downstairs in the mirror, okay? Okay, y'all, so this is the finished makeup look. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think I did, because listen, when you have to set up the whole production, it's a lot, girl. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye, y'all. Okay, y'all, so here is my outfit. I have on my Wacol um, bodysuit. I also have on this feather bomber jacket. I got this from an Instagram boutique. It's something NYC see but I'll have it below. I'm also wearing some jeans from Express with a little bit of distressing. I have on these old Aldo pumps and I'm going to carry this silver bag. I may do my Chanel little mini silver because I do have on this Chanel choker but I kind of like this better. So yeah this is the look. You know the um, lighting down here is pretty bad but this is what I'm wearing so I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>